Hi, I'm Susan. And I'm Emma. And we're here to share a really fun project with you, creating endangered species paper pack puppets. There are four parts to the process. Step number one, making a sculpture out of newspaper and tape. Step number two is paper mache our creature. And then after that dries, we paint him. And finally, we do the details. The materials you'll need for part one of the process are newspaper, about a week's worth, and masking tape. The time from the very beginning of this project to the final puppet depends on how big it is and how complicated it is, but probably four to six hours after it paper maches. It needs some drying time. After uh, you paint the first part of it, it needs some drying time. So it might happen over two to three days. The aims of this project are to learn about endangered species, to learn why they're endangered, how they become endangered, what we can do to help save endangered species. We want to learn about science, we want to learn about art, and we want to learn about engineering. So the science part, you, when you choose a creature, and you can find out if it's endangered or not by going on the World Wide Web and finding sites that talk about endangered species. One that we really like, the World Wildlife Foundation has lots of information about endangered species. Where these animals live, what they eat, um, what they look like, you'll also learn what their habitat is. You'll learn about different parts of the world. You also, in the science part of this, learn observation skills. You have to look carefully when you're creating a sculpture like this in order to try to represent it as close to the real animal as possible. And so you have to look very carefully to see, oh, okay, what are the horns like? What are the shapes of the ears? You know, what's its tail like? It's also an art project and that you're trying to create something beautiful here. You're trying to make something that you want to keep. Um, in our experience of working with children, we find that they fall in love with their animals. And finally, it's an engineering project. You have to think how it's going to stand up, how uh, you can get all of the parts right. And you can see with my puppet <laughs> that I had a little engineering problem. This foot doesn't reach the ground. And um, that was my, that's a flaw in my puppet. But you know what? I think he's pretty cute anyway, even though I have a little bit of an engineering problem. Your first task is to choose an animal that you really want to create. There are many websites for learning about what creatures are endangered. Animals, fish, birds, even plants. You will need to print two pictures of the animal you choose. You want to see the shape of your animal's body, his legs, his tail, his face, his ears, his muzzle, his haunches, his paws. Is her body slender or round? Is her nose long or short? Is her tail fluffy or smooth, short or long? Are her ears pointed or round? On the side of her head or on the top of her head? You'll also want to look carefully at the colors of your creature. Animals and fish and birds are rarely just one or two colors. There are often shades of color or multicolored markings. Learn some facts about your animal and carefully observe your animal and then you'll be ready to create your own puppet. Join us in the next two videos to learn how to make a newspaper sculpture, paper mache that sculpture, and then paint them. It's a lot of fun, so let's make some puppets.